Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 864, Almost Empty Ref Tags. This index lists beginning times of each segment, so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. The pair of open and closed ref tags is known as an inline citation. Suggestion 864 is triggered by the source and an inline citation being too short, less than nine characters. It can take different forms. One form is empty reference tags. While it is visible on the edit screen, the tags do not show on the profile's public view. Another form is a placeholder where punctuation or a number is used. Here is an example of a period between reference tags as it looks on the public profile and on the edit screen. A third form is the use of numbered or coded references as it looks on the public view and again on the edit screen. A fourth form is a position dependent inline citation such as IBID as seen on the public profile and the edit screen. Before discussing how to correct almost empty reference tags, it is important to know how to name an inline citation. It simplifies documenting sources and presents a much cleaner profile. Naming inline citations is used when one source is relied on multiple times within a biography. In this example, land purchases are referred to twice, both citing the same source. In the first instance the source is used, the reference is correctly entered. However, to use it again, it needs to be named. Inside the first ref tag, add a space and then name equal. Next, decide what to name the tag. The only restriction is that the name cannot start with a number. Let's call it land. You now have a named reference. To use it for the second instance, copy and paste the name reference. The only difference is that a backslash is added to the second use just inside the closed angled bracket. This indicates that the reference has ended. Placeholders are used when the profile manager is creating the biography and plans to return at a later date to add sources. If the manager is active, you do not need to amend the profile. Click on the Profiles Changes tab and see when the last change was made. If it has been less than two months, notify the manager that a suggestion number has been generated for that profile and needs his or her attention. Then leave a comment on the suggestion status page that the manager was notified. Now that we know the different forms Suggestion 864 can take, let's go through the steps of working with a profile that has a placeholder inline citation. First, see if there are any other suggestions for that profile. Go to the top right of the screen and click on the Wikitree ID number. From the drop-down menu, scroll to the end and click on Suggestions. The next screen, the Suggestions Report, shows eight suggestions for the identical error. Second, if placeholders have been used, see how active the Profile Manager has been. Since the last change was on October 21, 2015, far more than two months ago, there are two options. One, research for a source, and if none are found, delete the inline citation. If there are no sources at all, add the unsourced template. If sources have been found, return to the edit screen. For this video, I added sources to all the inline citations but one. The death subheading still needs a source. There is one on Family Search. Copy the source information onto the edit page. Check the preview and see how the sources look now. Go to the middle of the screen and, as required for all data doctors, explain your changes. Save your work. Go to the Suggestions Report screen and click on the first status button. 
On the next screen, the Selection Status page, select a status, in this case, correct it. Leave a comment from the comment hints or make one of your own and click Update. All eight suggestions are updated at this time. And you're done. IBID and See Above don't work on Wikitree because it is an ongoing collaboration, not a static text. Here is a profile I manage. There are four references to the same Navy source. The first one shows the source, but the following three say See Above. If someone later enters information that goes between two of the C above references, such as a residence, it now looks like the fifth source is referring to the U.S. city directories, not the Navy document. To remedy this, name the first time the reference is used, in this case, Navy. Copy it to the C above reference of another fact relying on this source. The only difference is that you put a backslash after the word Navy. Replace the other two see above references with that named reference. The sources are now in order, correctly identifying their information. After identifying the profile you want to work with, check its suggestion report for additional suggestions. Return to the Profile and click the Changes tab to see how active the Profile Manager is. Research for sources. If none are found, delete the incorrect inline citations and leave an unsourced template. Add sources you find by filling empty inline citations and replacing placeholders and position-dependent tags. Also, create named inline citations as needed. Explain changes, save your work, and check the public view to make sure it looks right. Return to the suggestions report and update the status.